Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced Tutorial. Now you are watching part 3 of the sub-series File System Watcher Component. In this video, we will talk about the uh, set of controls and its uh, properties. That means we will uh, talk about the form design of this uh, sample. These are all the slide decks from uh, previous two parts. In the previous video, we talked about the example which we are going to create in this and next video. Now, straightly, let's go to the demo and we will discuss about the form design. So this is our sample application. We created a Windows form based application and we named it as a file sysmon. So in the top what you are seeing is a multi-line text box component. First let us look at the name given for each of the control. So this is a TXT display multi-line uh, text box. So this one is the TXT folder path. BTN pick folder. So when user clicks this button, a folder browser dialog will get displayed. Normal label. So this one is a checkbox and we named it as CHK recursive. So normal label. Here we named this as CHK created, it's a checkbox. CHK modified, CHK deleted, and CHK renamed. To monitor these filters, we created these uh, text boxes. Then we have buttons BTN monitor, BTN clear, and BTN close. Also, if you see under the components, we drag and dropped two component. So one is the file system watcher component. So you have to click here, drag and drop like this. So since I already dropped it in the bottom portion of the form design, you will be seeing a file system watcher so we named this uh, file system watcher as uh, uh, file mon and uh, so by default it will be false let's keep it as false we don't need to turn it as a uh, true at runtime we will turn this as a uh, true when user clicks the start monitor button so enable rising event that property we set it as false. All right, then we placed folder browser dialog also. So just drag and drop here. So here is the folder browser dialog, and we named this folder browser dialog as folder B. So it will be available under the dialog group folder browser dialog. So once you place a text box, so it will be available here. Text box. So it will be like this. And after placing that, you have to set multi-line property to true. Once you set multi-line property to true, at present I locked all the controls. Let me unlock. You will be seeing this. Uh, uh, gripper using this you can increase the height of the text box since now it is supporting more number of rows that needs to be edited here if you see here this one multi-line property is false and you will be seeing the gripper to increase the length and you will not be seeing any gripper to increase its height but here since it's multi-line you will be seeing uh, uh, gripper to increase the width to increase the height 
or to increase its size diagonally. So let me click on lock controls. So once you click format lock controls, you will you cannot move it by accident. So once your form design is over, you can go for uh, format lock controls so that the controls will get sticked to the form and it will not move uh, accidentally by like this. All right. Um, so the next one, what we need to discuss is the anchor property. Let me click this uh, multi-line text box and if you see here anchor property is set to all four top left right and bottom so that means the control here the control is multi-line text box control that is anchored to all these four edges anchored means it cannot move so if uh, this control is anchored towards left the distance between this edge and the control here if you see if this distance is 20 pixel the 20 pixel will get fixed so if i resize my form the control will not move uh, from its left edge so that's the meaning here if you see since we sticked or we anchored it or we bolted this component to all four edges when i move the or uh, resize the form the component or control the control here is the multi-line text box this will get resized why because it needs to maintain the same distance towards all four edges so instead of uh, saying like this let me run it and if you see the distance we just watch so this is five pixel let's assume let's assume this is also five pixel and this is also five pixel from here the distance this edge as well as this form edge let's say this is a 50 pixel so since we anchored it on all four edges the component should maintain that distance that means if i resize the form the text box multi-line text box should also resize if you see it's resizing so when i increase the width the multi-line text box will get resized width twice or if i stretch like this it will its height will increase that means it is anchored to this bottom and if I move it want to maintain the same distance between the bottom edge and here so that's why it's resizing all right now let's look at the other anchor property now you got an understanding so here if you see this is not anchored towards the top but it is anchored towards left, right and bottom. That means it will maintain same distance here in the left. I mean this text box. At present I selected this text box, right? Distance between the left edge and this control is maintained. The same way distance between the right edge and the components control edge. This one, the cursor location. This will get maintained. Similarly, this will also get maintained but the distance here will not get maintained here we are not anchoring right so what this means is suppose if i increase the form widthwise or if i resize it horizontally since it is anchored here on both when i move this way the multi-line i mean the uh, single line text box will increase in width but if i resize vertically since it is not anchored uh, it is not tick it is not sticked to the top edge so if i move the bottom edge here the control will uh, move towards the bottom that means it won't resize height wise let's see that remember this text box is anchored towards left and right anyhow uh, when we resize this left edge is maintained the distance why because or if you resize this way you can see how uh, the distance is maintained here all right let me increase uh, the right side 
and you can see the text box is growing right why because uh, we anchored this text box right edge with the right edge of the form similarly here we anchored the left edge of this text box with the left edge of the form that's why if I resize here the text box also resizing to maintain that distance but here we doesn't anchor it so if you see the text box is moving it is not resizing but here this multi-line text box we anchor it towards the top so it is resizing similarly now let me click here and let's look at the other anchor property and you can derive why we set anchor property like this for this button for this button bottom and right bottom right bottom right bottom left stick it to here and stick it towards bottom bottom left bottom left bottom left bottom left that means here we say to bottom left that means these filters always stays towards left and this button always stays towards right if you see here i'm running this i'm resizing this form and if you see here these controls are sticked towards the left right but these are all not moving but if i move this way these controls are moving but not these watch it so that's the anchor property and what else that's all here since now you know how to use anchor property you can set uh, as you like and that's all here let's check once again file monitor there is no property change only name we changed that's all so that's all about the form design in the next video we will start our coding and if you look at the file system monitor it has four event we will handle this four event and monitor the file system changes that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye